We all know that these are tough times for people struggling for equality and a healthy world. In this video series, however, I'm going to help us understand why some tactics for social change work and some don't. And my friends here are going to help. Many of us look at the world and we see rising income inequality, we see rampant racial and gender discrimination, we see catastrophically inept government responses to health crises, we see the inhumane treatment of the vulnerable, and we are seeing dangerous levels of human alteration to the world's landscapes, oceans, and atmosphere. The stakes are high and many people are literally fighting for their lives, their families, their communities, and the planet on which we all depend. However, when it comes to doing anything about these issues, we can all get frustrated. Sometimes we vote in elections only to see totally unqualified candidates or downright cruel manipulators get elected. Or our candidate wins, and then they don't really make meaningful changes. Sometimes we take to the streets and go to rallies, but then we go home and the people in power take little notice and make no substantial changes because of our protests. We get emails and we see social media posts imploring us to give money to nonprofit A or candidate B. We get asked to sign petitions and appeals over and over. So we do what we can, but let's face it, many of us ask ourselves if all the things we are doing are not enough to bring hope and genuine security to our communities, then what is? What if, however, I told you that there are other things that we can do, things people are already doing all around the world? and which you can do with people in your own community. There are strategies which I refer to as replacing the state. What, however, does this mean? What I mean by replace the state is that there are campaigns going on around the world where people in a community connect with each other, claim the authority to manage a particular place differently, and then they create more ethical ways of running these places. These actions essentially claim, in this place, we will block the discriminatory or destructive practices of business as usual and replace them with better ones. Rather than demanding that a government or powerful corporation change their policies or behavior, movements are taking over the day-to-day -day management of the places they call home. On the surface, this may sound quite radical. As I try to show in these videos, however, it is actually a practical approach to social change taken up by folks around the globe who are fed up with the political, economic, and environmental damage caused by traditional practices of governance. Notice that here I use the term governance, not government. What this emphasizes is that governance is just the rules governing what goes on in a place. The actors who are in charge of that may not necessarily be the government. It could be a company, a church, an indigenous community, an NGO, or some other institution. Or indeed, it could be a coalition of people interested in running a place in a more just and sustainable way. What's important here is that these videos and the companion book have one main purpose, to explore how we can all engage in more effective campaigns for inclusion, justice, and sustainability. I have designed each video in this series as a standalone story that can help us understand a particular aspect of a global problem or a technique for solving it. There is, however, also a narrative arc across the whole series. The early videos first try to show you why some societies have come to operate in such unequal, exclusionary, and unsustainable ways. I then try to explain why some traditional approaches to creating social change just don't work. Lastly, I explain why there is actually great promise in some newer, underappreciated strategies that aim to create more just, inclusive, and sustainable communities. Overall, I hope these videos and the companion book can give you useful and actionable ideas for addressing the many political, economic, and environmental problems we face, as well as encourage folks to be optimistic that we really can make a positive difference in our communities and world, even when our governments aren't really helping. <laughs>